Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the farm. Uh, today, we've had some issues with our Cornish Cross. If you guys have been following us, you know we raise Cornish Cross. We love raising this breed. We've got three pins out here getting ready. Um, we've been able to learn how to raise for our family, raise enough meat for our family. And now we're getting big enough where we have been selling at markets as well. So these guys are bringing in a little bit of money for the farm and uh, we would like to continue growing each year. So growth doesn't happen when you're losing birds. And we have just recently lost some birds. Let's go to the brooder and check out what happened. Good morning, Miss Small. Good morning. How are you doing? That's not chicken feed. Feed. That's pig feed. Do you need to go live with the pigs? So last video we talked about something digging under our brooder area and getting up in the chickens. You can see there's a hole right there. I've got all these rat traps set out, but we had lost 10 chicks. And I know what you're saying, how do you lose 10 chicks and not notice it? Well, when they run around in here like crazy little animals, it's hard to count them. But I came out because I saw blood in the shavings the other day when I came out. And so I took them all out and I figured I gotta get these guys better. We just had these brooders sitting on the ground and they were digging up under them. So yesterday I came out and I put a piece of, there's a four by eight sheet of thin plywood underneath and I just was not happy with that. I felt like something could still get underneath. So yesterday I whipped up this brooder here. I don't have hinges on my roof yet. So I was just, I set pine shavings on top to hold the roof down. Everybody is good this morning. Like I said, you always hate to lose lose anything. Um, we thought this brooder room was going to be amazing, and it really has been. It has been great, but there's a lot of weak spots in it where they can dig up under and get in here. So, good morning, cross-country runner. Oh, there she is. But anyway, so I built this last night, and I was able to sleep with peace of mind that my birds were going to be safe. So... We're working on another one because tomorrow we have another shipment of Cornish Cross coming. Um, I'm going to be taking this down and we're going to be putting up another brooder just like this on this side of the brooder room. So we sure, we still love the brooder room, um, but we found some weaknesses in it and we were able to get those fixed. Now I'm just using chicken wire here. We may switch to a hardware cloth. You can see these little little birds sticking their heads through <laughs> they're picking at the outside so something still could get in there and grab them um but we're gonna go with this for now because that's what we had on hand and this is much better than what we had so anyway let's run up front and uh let's get this other brooder put together so we'll be ready for tomorrow's chicks see how everybody's doing in here Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Where's Itty Bitty? Good morning, Itty Bitty. You just hiding behind the wall? Hey, quit being so pushy. Good morning. Good morning. All right, guys, we're up here at my messy shop. And uh, this is what we're going to be building here. I've obviously got all these cut already. I ripped the two by fours in half, then cut everything to length. So we're gonna be seven feet long. We're gonna be four foot wide and just two feet high. So I've got all the boards cut. We're gonna start putting this together. We'll get it built and then we will put the chicken wire on it. So let's start getting our frames together and we'll have some safe chickens. got the bottom top frame done we're gonna use our pieces to make it two foot high each of the corners and in the middles we'll put the two foot braces 
Let's get this rectangle put together. All right, guys, not the prettiest thing. Um, I will say you do want to pre-drill when you're using these little one bys, but uh, we've got a rectangle box. I'm going to add the floor to the bottom now, then we'll just need to add some chicken wire. Right, the bottom is put on nothing will be digging under this we just need to put the wire on i'm thinking about putting legs on it too i didn't put legs on the other one but this way at least it's up off the ground and that wood won't be rotting on the dirt so you can always change things as you go uh i think we'll put legs get this up off the ground maybe have to do that to the other one All right, guys, I didn't adjust for uh, the other brooder being right here in the way. So uh, we moved that one over to this side so we could get this other one in. This one is a little bit wider. This is just under four feet wide. This one is three feet wide. I did that just so if I get a batch of, normally we get batches of 30, but if I get more than 30, I feel like this is plenty of room for them. So we've got the lid done. It's sitting right out there. I've got to run and get hinges. I'm gonna leave these traps. I do like having this up off the ground a little bit so the bottom doesn't get rotten from sitting on the wood. So we may adjust this one so it's up off the ground as well. So like I said, I know that the chicken wire, things can still reach and grab through there, but I do feel these birds are a lot safer than what we've had. So excited about that. Now we just wait till tomorrow. We'll go get those chicks together. Good morning, guys. Welcome back. A small miracle happening this morning. Let me show you what that is first. Our chicks have arrived before nine o'clock. So if you guys have been following along, you guys know that our first post office never would call till like 930. I would try to call to see if they were in nothing. They saw. They said they didn't want to wake people up. Well, when I've got live birds, I want to get them here, get them under the heat lamp, get them some water. But anyway, so we had some issues. One of the last orders I had, all of them were dead when I went there and got them. And uh, they didn't look like they had been dead long. They looked like they had just died. So I was having some issues with our first post office. We switched to a second post office, the small miracle. They called me before 6 a.m. this morning to let me know my chicks were in. So I was able to go up and get them. And guess what? They're all alive. So I don't know. I think some of the handling from the other post office wasn't that great. But anyway, not going to sit and dwell on that. We've got live birds. And I'm pretty sure they're all alive. I peeked at them when I picked them up. Oh, it's hard to do a camera and hold these chicks. But uh, we're going to get them put in here in the brooder we just got done got some water in here got the top i don't have my hinges yet let me sneak in here oh get that light turned on guess what all these guys are doing great i haven't even fed animals this morning yet i just went and picked up my birds so let me set these down got the water in here we've uh 
started just water. We wait about two hours before we do feed. So I'm gonna set this down. Well, let me show you actually first. I looked at these two and everyone's doing fantastic. Uh, didn't get the knife to open that, but no dead, none dead. So wow, super happy we switched posts office. So let me put this down and we'll get these chicks in here and get them situated for the day. brooder until we find something that needs to be fixed with it which that could always happen there's always room for improvement and things you don't account for when you're building something but so far so good I cannot complain 31 order 30 they sent 31 31 healthy you can see lively chickens they almost want to stick and fall all the way through these little holes here so there goes one oh thought it was coming all the way out so maybe that is something i will be changing because this bird's already stuck are you stuck in there so maybe we need to get some uh, hardware cloth and put it on here for these day old chicks because they can almost squeeze right through here now you guys always think what on the other what's on the other side of the fence is better for you you guys have no idea but anyway brooders are working well I've got to get other animals fed this morning but super excited that I actually got a call from the post office before 10 o'clock when my chicks come in so things are looking up but anyway guys we appreciate you following along if you haven't already hit that subscribe button check us out on Instagram and Facebook and as always make the change Thank you.